Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I've got a very quick Hogwarts Legacy video on two things that I wish I knew before I started playing this game, or at least very early into this game. So let's get into it, shall we? First off is these doors. Now these doors have got like number sequences assigned to each of the different symbols around the door. Some are kind of obvious, like a spider has eight legs, that's number eight. Yes, Hydra has three sort of heads, that's a three. Anyway, that's actually the actual workings out for this one. Yeah, eight and three. Yeah, and there you go. It's a simple math sort of thing. Once you know that they are all assigned numbers, but it starts from a zero from the bottom left and works its way round to a nine, it makes this extremely easy. Then you just got to find the question mark sort of triangles that you can find using that sort of revealio type movement and yeah there you go so i've put that one in that one's a spider because we needed an eight to make up that sum and this one we need to put in a three to make up that sum done diddly and done and then just run back down key it in and then you can open this door and once you're in you're going to get a big chest which often gives you some sort of clothing and then a smaller chest which gives you a sort of little perk or something so there you go people happy opening doors second thing is if you do challenges throughout this game, if you go into the challenges from your menu, you can actually claim loads of free sorts of things. Now, these are just cosmetics, but you can overlay them on what you're wearing already. It's like I've been wearing this pink stupid hat for freaking ages now, and I wanted one of these sort of flat caps. Well, you can just go straight into your appearance afterwards. Now, when you go into your equipment menu, rather than actually put the item on, so from the actual outside, you just press square to change appearance on it. I look super dapper, right? I don't at the moment. No, if you, if I could take off all of these, you'd see what I look like. I look like a complete reject. I look like I just walked into a charity ex shop that exploded. Yeah, so if I show you what my hat really looks like right now, people, it looks like this. Let me just take this off and put it back on again. Boom. That's the hat that I've got on. But to change that appearance from the outside menu, press square and you can change the appearance to anything you've found in the world, even if you've sold it or discarded it. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.